Here is what the finished shape looks like. And you saw from the previous clips basically how I made this shape. It's a pretty simple shape to do. And also you saw how I smoothed off both sides as well. And you can make this as big or as small as you want, of course. And I will also link the template below that I used in the description box as well. So you can use this if you want to. Or you can easily just find this just by searching up heart template onto Google. And I think the shape looks really good. It's still not like completely smooth, but it's really the best that I could do. <laughs> So that's what it looks like and then once you have the shape ready we can move on to the next step So next what I did was I just painted the whole thing gold as you can see and I think the colour turned out really good I think it's a really nice and pretty colour So what I did was I just mixed some of this gold acrylic paint with some of this gold fabric paint which is a little bit more of a different tone compared to this one. So as you can see this one is a little bit brighter so I just mixed these two together to get more of the tone that I needed and again just painted the whole thing. And yes, I know there's a big line in the middle of the squishy, but there's not really much I can do about that now. <laughs> I'm thinking I might paint this one on the other side. But anyways, once you've done that, you can move on to the next step. Lastly what I did was I just painted on the swan in the centre of the heart just using my gold puppy paint or fabric paint again and then I just neatened up the shape slightly just using a thin paintbrush 
and then I also tried adding just a few extra details to it such as uh, just adding some lines on the wing to create the feathers and also a small indent on the beak and also a small indent for the eye again just using a thin paintbrush and I just looked at this image here as reference when painting it and I'm so proud of how it turned out. I really like how it looks. <laughs> and then I also added just a little bit more puffy paint to this bit just to make the wing look a little bit more 3D than the rest of it, if that makes sense. And I'm really hoping that when this dries, all the details are still going to be visible because this is a different brand of puffy paint compared to the one that I normally use which is the tulip brand this one's by Jones Tones so I'm not sure if uh, when it dries if the details are still going to be visible but we'll see <laughs> yeah I think I did a really good job with this bit I absolutely love how the swan looks And then once you've done that, you just want to let the squishy completely dry and then you will be done. So here is what the final thing looks like. And I know the shape looks a little bit weird at the moment. It's because I've already squished it. <laughs> so that's why it looks a little bit weird. But I am so, so happy with how this turned out. And it is also very squishy as well. And this is probably going to take a while to come back up now, so it's in this weird shape. <laughs> but yeah, I think I did a really good job with this. And also, I especially love how the swan turned out in the middle. I think I did a really good job at painting it. And also, I'm really glad that the details still remained visible on the swan because, like I said before, I wasn't sure how exactly this fabric paint was going to dry. So I was scared about the details just slowly disappearing, but thankfully you can still see them. And also, I was a little bit worried about the wing as well. I was afraid that the wing was going to lose its definition, but thankfully it still remained 3D. And again, it is up to you what size you want to make yours. You can make it as big or as small as you want, like I say many times in my squishy tutorials. <laughs> and also, it's up to you if you want to make this into an actual necklace as well. So you can add in an eye pin if you want to, and then just attach a necklace chain if you have one. I was originally thinking about doing that, but then I didn't really have any uh, necklace chains and also I didn't really want to uh, use any of the necklaces that I already had. So yeah, I just decided just to make the squishy by itself in the end and also just make it slightly bigger because I thought, why not? <laughs> but I think this turned out really pretty and I just love the gold colour. I think I was able to recreate the pendant quite well, or the locket even. <laughs> and I realise it's not nearly as shiny as the real one. I would have had to have added way more layers of fabric paint to make it shiny. But I just don't have the patience for that. <laughs> but still really pleased with how it came out. Thank you. 
and yep that is it for this tutorial I really hope you enjoyed watching and as always please feel free to request any more squishy tutorials you would like me to do in the comments below and I really hope you enjoyed this one and thank you so much for watching bye bye